Well, yeah, I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys had a good gear because I sure as hell did not. I guess I should do this as like, because uh, I, I didn't do any like the, 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 you know, usually I share the homework. I usually do that every gear war. This is probably my first gear war that I actually missed in like years. <laughs> I don't think I missed a single gear war until today. It's fucking crazy. I guess this, I'm just going to try and summarize what I did for gear war. What happened? in like the last fucking week. So first and foremost, I think I'm just gonna share the, the, the homework that I use. Uh, this is the 250, you can ignore this for now. So uh, the first homework that I used was this. So this was basically the homework that I used for last uh, last Guild War as well. Like last Guild War is in last year's Earth Favorite Guild War. So this is the one that I used for 100, 150. Unfortunately, all the homeworks I've seen on the, 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 the and even the, the ones that the crew showed, consists of fucking a certain a summer character and a certain subtickable character which I do not have and also uh, consists of a, a, a certain summon and I do not have as well so I basically have none of that <laughs> grid wise I actually was using this first turns out that the LS sucks so this was the one I was using originally it worked out I, I still can 3 turn it it's fucking slow it took me like I think my fastest time was 54 seconds for a nightmare 100, 100 or for those two right I think I was doing it like around at least the fastest is 54 seconds. I think on average, if I actually focus on doing it properly, it was average for 57, 58 like that. And apparently this, this damage is very inconsistent too because these two can cap so fucking high, but the damage sucks ass. I do not know. <laughs> so what I ended up doing, I'm not sure if I still have the, the setup here. Oh yeah, this one. I changed to, to the, the came setup. I'm not even sure this is a homework. I just randomly put together a came grid and apparently it works. So like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this was the one I was using. So like the, the buttons that I pressed for all of these. Yeah, summons are the same too. The buttons that I press are s very, very similar to the homework that I did for last Earth Favorite Guild War. The only difference is that I need to press this. <laughs> I need to press this, 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 and my support is uh Titan. I need to press that too. <laughs> I have to press a lot of summons to get it done consistently. It's fucking I fucking hate this Gear man. <laughs> so this was the ones that I used for uh 950. For the EX Plus, I think I don't really have to share it because you already kinda know, right? <laughs> I already kinda showed it in the React handbook thingy which is i mean i guess i'll just put it up again just for summary purposes which was this this setup yeah i was using this setup i basically just did a babu babu attack thing i was also using uh this to to try nightmare 90 a little bit but that that's that's really all i had so that kind of fucking sucks <laughs> I didn't really bother with Nightmare 90 that much though, because Nightmare 90 sucks, right? The thing is because also like this is such a huge change to Gear War as well. I should actually full auto something on the side, but whatever. One of the biggest change I would say in this Gear War is because he has two different meat now, right? So it's like, you know how we usually is like we always go like 15, 20k or something before this? I feel like you don't even need to do that anymore. Because like we get this unlocked so early. And because the first day we got this already, we get this unlocked so early and stuff, and you get so much uh, honors as well out of this if you can do it properly or you can full auto properly, right? Because this, if I recall correctly, this is like close to 50 mil, 49 something, right? This is 13 mil, right? So that's like insane amount of honors already. If you can comfortably full auto and dip it with this, I think that's fine. Because I think like the, the standard one, if people can consistently get this done in like, between 15 to 18 minutes, right? I think that's good already, right? 15 to 18 minutes is really, really slow, sure. But if you can do it, I guess that's fine because you're only checking back once every like 20 minutes per se, which is better than checking back every two two minutes or something, right? So that's 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 uh, that's still something, right? It, it just really depends on what kind of setup and is consistent enough for you. Because end of the day, I full auto enough. There's this piece of shit already. I, I mean, if you want, you can see. I did full auto this guy off stream a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> if not, I wouldn't be able to get this this fucking thing at all. Because most of my, my score really just came from full autoing the 250 anyway. It really just boils down to how consistent your, your run can be because it's super RNG because the guy has God side of all things. <laughs> Right? 
it's God's side, right? By the way, isn't it? The the one where he gets like maximum stacks and then bam, suddenly that stupid buff comes out. Like what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, they decided to add some stupid ass buff to the boss, cause why the fuck not, right? Gotta make the shit as hard as it can or whatever. Because of that, that variance, if you can somehow negate that in a way, right? I think it's actually very, very chill to just full auto this. But you know, it's it's 250 is a piece of shit. TLDR is a piece of shit. It sucks. We all hate it. I hate it. Yeah. But at the same time, if you can full auto it, it's good, right? I would definitely say full autoing this is way better than this. 100%. Nightmare 200 is like, kind of like, whatever right now. Because I feel like, moving forward, how we gonna proceed with Guild Warren right now, right? We won't even be doing this that much. We only probably do this like, to unlock that. You know, because we need like, hun we need hundred of these, isn't it? So like, after we unlock that, then we can just say fuck it to this. It's like the same thing as Nightmare 100 versus 150, isn't it? It's like the same thing. We always do hundred just so we can unlock 150, so we can say fuck it to hundred, right? Same thing. But now we are forced to do hundred because Nightmare 100 is the only thing that is unlocked in day one right now, isn't it? So the thing is right now, the way it's moving forward, the way I see it, you're really mashing all of your meat on this guy. So if you think about it, you don't even need that much meat anymore. I don't think you even need to farm 15k to 20k meat anymore. There's, I feel like there's really no reason for you to mash so much meat. But the thing is, meat is so easy to get now, right? Because of the whole new EX Plus stuff. I don't even know how long I farm, but I only farm 6k, okay? <laughs> this is the, the, the honors that I have right now, which is somewhat within 90k, right? At the moment. But I only farm total of 6k. Just want to put that into perspective. I farm 6k, I have 2.6k left. That's a lot, right? <laughs> There's no reason for you to farm fucking, like, fucking uh, 15 to 20k. The only thing you want to do that for is so you can be a no Nightmare 90 gamer. That's really the only thing I can see that being, a, like, a viable thing. Because I know a lot of people likes to do that just for the sake of the weapon and shit, isn't it? But like outside of that, there's, there's really no reason for you to do that nowadays. You see, I, I, I didn't even burn like 4k yet, man. And I already reached this high. It's just, I mean, it's just really obviously, I guess it's just boils up whether you can do this or not, I suppose. With all that said, okay, let's move on to the Nightmare 250. I'm not gonna mention anything about 200 because I only did that once or so. And uh, just to unlock that. I, I, I already swapped all of my setup for supposedly 150. To 250 and I don't know what switch back so I just full auto my 250 setup on 200 it was like eight minutes or something but I didn't really care because I was like like I said I was I was like fucking sick and shit I was trying to be as chill as possible so but at the same time I was okay enough to just sit on a PC yeah so uh the setup that I actually followed was surprisingly I just followed game with uh, homework so yeah whole and behold I'm probably gonna get flamed for this because I was shitting so hard on uh, Medusa on her video, right? Now I'm, I'm here. I am using her. <laughs> Going primal pals, man. Fuck. <laughs> but we all knew that was gonna happen anyway because her skill set kind of, kind of already kind of shows that, right? Her fucking double dispel all that nukes, blah blah blah. She can reset literally and double cast and whatever. If you can get that thing to work, hundred percent, she's gonna be a good character, right? Same thing. <laughs> But yeah, so I was using this, I was using the LS. I think LS is the only one that you can actually use properly in 250 because of the the sheer amount of uh, extra defense you get out of this. Yeah, then you get that as well. I put one Exalto, the two World Ender. Turns out I actually have enough for a second World Ender, so I just copied that homework. The rest is the same, the standard, I mean, hunting and stuff, I guess, yeah. But I do not have a triple zero. Game with homework had triple zero in here. But I was using I'm using this instead. And you know what's the funny thing? It kinda works out. I did actually somewhat manual a little bit, but it wasn't really a full like I I I control the whole thing. Because, you know, the the whole plan of this setup is that so your MC's uh Beast Fang, this thing, which you uh you get it just by autoing or whatever. Your auto cast, right? This thing needs to hit 4 mil because of the stupid trigger. So you can get it not to hit God's side. But for some reason, right, I was hope I was thinking that it couldn't work if I do not have the the uh, amplify from triple zero. Because I was hitting at most 3.8. I couldn't hit 4 mil. 
impossible for me to hit four mil. It was still somewhat okay. I only managed to encounter God's side in like, I think out of the, the runs that I did, maybe total, maybe 500-ish meat, I think. How much is that? I don't know. I can't math right now. Like, so around there, maybe I only saw it like three times. It's not that bad, surprisingly. So I was like, okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'll just stick with that. <laughs> but yeah, surprisingly, it worked out. Kind of, so like that's why I kind of was able to uh, was that full auto nightmare uh, two hundred and fifty. Uh, let me show a little bit, I guess. But it was like sixteen minutes, I think. Yeah. Oh wait, this one I, I manual a little bit, I think. Oh no, this one I did with two people. <laughs> I did with a crew. That was I entered a crew mates room. Oh, this one I died like crazy. <laughs> uh, this was the one that I entered God's side. You see, yeah, that, that, that's what happens when God's side appears. Yeah, that 16 minutes is okay. Yeah, that 16 minutes is like, I think the average that is actually the okay runs. <laughs> the non-okay ones, I think like this one. Ah, they're like this. This is another one that I got God's side or something. The moment God's side appears, I'm fucked already. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of like the gist of my supposedly Guild War setup or whatever. That is my Guild War experience thus far, okay? The other Guild War experience I probably should probably let you guys know or at least fill you guys in what happened is where the fuck I was for the, like the last week. Let's just go back, okay? There was one particular uh, stream. I think it was one or two days. I think it was one or two days before release of Sumabito. You know, the new class 5? Yeah, the new wrestler class thing. One or two days before that, it happened, if I recall correctly. Because... What essentially happened was, I think my diet changed so much because, you know, uh, I do not have like free food anymore. <laughs> Usually uh, my mom cooks for me because, you know, I'm I'm so focused on like just sitting on the, in front of PC and streaming. It's not like I can go cook my own shit, right? So like that's basically like the one of the main issues already. I couldn't get proper food into my system. So what ended up happening is that I am between the middle of July, eh? No, be between middle of August, August to the end of August. That was when it starts to go downhill. I was eating less. I was eating lesser, like uh, healthier stuff, you know, like veggies, fruits, whatever. Because when my mom usually cooks stuff for me, I take huge portions or much bigger portions because she cook a lot. <laughs> Because, you know, you know, that's what moms usually do, right? They cook a lot. So obviously, I'll eat a lot more. And there's a lot of veggies she tends to cook as well. I take a lot of veggie as well. So having like a huge chunk of that just missing from my system, right? My, my diet just goes super downhill after that. Knowing that, right? There was one particular day, right? There was one particular day that I was running low on cash. So I didn't really want to waste unnecessary cash. So I decided to, you know what? I'm just gonna stream through it. That was the biggest mistake I ever did. Yeah, that was the biggest mistake I ever done. Because what essentially happened was, I woke up at 6 a.m. One of the particular uh, day. I remember I started streaming around like 9 a.m. Between the time I woke up and I streamed, right? I did not eat a single thing. So the last time I ate was l last 12 hours ago. I decided to not eat until like 3 p.m. Because I was streaming until then. I did like a six, seven hour, uh, close to seven hour stream or something. I did that. That is when I died. <laughs> that is when it started to happen. So for those who are wondering, right? What happened to me essentially was I had like a very, very bad case of stomach ulcer. My stomach was just so fucked that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't move around. I couldn't eat stuff properly. My stomach was just filled with like so much air. And like every time I try to eat something, I just like want to puke and all that stuff it was it was really really bad the last time you guys saw me stream was uh where was it when was the last time i did actually eat, yeah that's the reason why i came on a bit late today because i had problems getting food earlier <laughs> so like the last time i actually streamed on this channel was on the 6th of september which was actually more than a week ago already well technically a week ago yeah it's on the 6th i only streamed for one and a half hours i was already feeling bad at that time but it was during the time where I really couldn't sit down like what I'm doing right now and do stuff on my PC. I was feel it was so uneasy for me to actually just sit down and just do stuff. I just couldn't. And then I remember the day before I only streamed for an hour as well because like 
it was like the, the, the first initial start of that, that, that stomach also I had. So after that stream, that last stream I did, right? I was bedridden for at least four days. I literally couldn't do much outside of going to the toilet, you know, maybe like uh, grab some snacks or at least just do uh, grab something quickly, uh, get some hot, hot drink. And then the rest of it, I always have to lie down on my, immediately after I try to finish eating, I have to go to my bed. And a lot of times I had to also like, I was in the position where I always feel like puking as well. Cause you know, it's like everything is just fucking me over kind of thing. It was like the worst thing to actually experience ever, man. So that's, that's why it's so shit right now at that time. That four days, I did visit the doctor on my third day. You know, fourth day. On the fourth day, I, I visited the doctor because it was going so fucking bad, I couldn't stand it anymore. It got, it was getting a little bit better. That was uh, during, I visited the doctor on Friday, last week. Yeah, last week, last Friday. And then um, it started to feel better the following day because my doctor is like, a, I paid a lot of money for that because he's a specialist. <laughs> so it's like, he gave me like some jab to make like immediate uh, like ease to my stomach or whatever. It got a lot better. But then after I noticed that I was super fucking weak because you know, I was like, like I said, I was only able to exert energy by like getting food, eating a little bit. Then the rest, I spent most of my day on my fucking bed, right? So like, I was so fucking weak. I didn't even realize that. And the moment suddenly I got like most of my like uh, big stuff that I can actually do properly again. Turns out that I have like no energy at all. So I visited the, the same doctor again. What ended up happening was my doctor gave me like the, like, how do I say? I literally got pumped with my massive adrenaline or something. <laughs> I was so weak on Sunday morning. I, I mean, a Saturday afternoon, I visited the doctor again. After that, on the following night, I couldn't sleep for shit, man. I was like... <laughs> I was so fucking... My brain was like hyper mode, man. <laughs> I couldn't fucking... It's like all of a sudden from me being a fucking zombie, right? All of a sudden my brain's like... Poof. Yo, dude. <laughs> yeah, so like I was so active. Yeah, I was so fucking active. That lasted until Tuesday. Yeah, that shit lasted all the way until Tuesday. I couldn't sleep properly until Tuesday night. <laughs> Tuesday night was the first time I could actually sleep properly. I think Tuesday night, I, rem I remember I managed to get like a five to six hours sleep. Before this, right, even though I was bedridden, right, I always was in a position where I only slept for like an hour each time, like intervals. I need just randomly, oh, an hour, now I wake up again, now I feel very like, oh, I feel so fucked up again. But Tuesday was the first time in the entire week I managed to sleep five hours to six hours straight. And I woke up, yo, what just happened? <laughs> I look at the clock, holy fuck, it's like in the morning already. I was like, oh man. So Tuesday was the time where I finally managed to feel like a lot better. And that was also like, Tuesday is day one, right? Yeah, that was day one, yeah. Tuesday is day one. So that, that that's the reason why I managed to put some fucking honors in my in my Guild War 2, because the, day one was the time that, oh wow, I can actually sit down on my PC for the first time in a, almost a week and do stuff. Like sit down for like more than an hour, or at least more than 10 minutes. Because before this, I couldn't do that at all. <laughs> It was, it was bad, man. So yeah, so the last few days, the last, since since that Tuesday, right? Basically what I've been doing is that I went to do like some, uh, we did, I did some grocery stuff where right now my tummy, I wouldn't say is still the in the best position, right? I, I am, I used to be only eating like uh, very non-oily stuff, plain rice, uh, bread, uh, toasted bread with butter. Uh, you know, those kind of stuff, right? But it looks like now I can kind of get a little, I can eat a little bit of like, at least a bit more fried stuff. So like, I think I ate like a bit of fried chicken already and it still is okay. Yeah, but the, the, my issue right now in my current, my con my condition right now is that I cannot, 
I feel like I cannot tell whether I'm hungry or not. Yeah, that's that's my issue at the moment as well right now. I cannot tell whether I'm really, really hungry. Like, maybe it's time to eat. So what I've been doing for like the last three days since Tuesday, right, was I always try to like, I time my, now, now I have to time my meals. Like, every four hours I need to eat something or at least I try to fit something in between my four hour gap. That's what I have to do right now. That's what I've been doing as well. Every morning I like, usually I try to not like, I, I, I guess, you know, I, I tend to be a little bit picky sometimes, but obviously now I can't be picky because, you know, I don't usually have uh, my mom whip up like a, r a random meal for me anymore. <laughs> so a lot of times right now, I always have like a fixed fixed meal right now in the morning. So I always have to like prepare my own breakfast. And uh, what I did is that I went to my local market-ish. Yeah, my local market-ish. I, I tend to buy bananas now because we all know bananas is actually really good for the digestive system as well. So now what I usually do is that I have, I have like the whole thing there. Like every now and then, every maybe one and a half hours or something, I just grab one banana and I'll... <laughs> Better than nothing, right? So that is one of the few things that I, I'm changing. So it's like I just randomly eat like maybe a banana or like a, a fruit or a, something to snack on in between my actual meals just so I don't be fucked right now. Another thing I also somehow managed to get is that uh, during the weekdays outside of like national holidays, right? I managed to get uh, help from my my relatives, my mom's youngest brother, I think. My mom's youngest brother, turns out that he's actually doing catering, food catering. So happened he's doing food catering around the area that, that, uh, that I'm staying as well. Even though he's actually living relatively far away, my mom was asking him if that, uh, obviously we are paying him, but they're, he, they're actually giving us, uh, they're doing us a huge favor as well because they are giving us quite a big discount as well. So I think that they are actually serving me as a, at a loss as well. They're basically feeding me at a loss, even though we are giving them money, but they're doing it as a loss as well. So I really appreciate it. That, that's really helpful because they, they are supplying me with food for lunch. So now my lunch is like on during weekdays. Oh, I should be fine already. Thank God for that. <laughs> and then dinner is like usually I, I, I just have like a, a meal share with my brother usually. And so happened that there's a... It's basically a, a night restaurant but they, they give... They serve mixed, mixed rice basically. But like not like... It's not like they, 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 they put out like lay it out. You have to like order dishes and stuff. So we basically order one dish and then we just order extra rice on top of it. Basically, that's that's what we usually do. So I find that shop is very cheap and is very close to my brother's office. So he usually buys back from that one. So now the issue is my brother just left for a holiday for like four days. <laughs> so now I'm totally alone now for like the, the weekend. So yeah, this weekend is going to be uh, quite a challenge because uh, I have to find my lunch and I have to find my own dinner. Breakfast, I have no issue. I, I find the, 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 the dinner is probably the worst one because like, I feel like dinner when it comes to finding food outside, right? Dude, all the food outside is mostly fucking like, if I were to just order food, right? From Uber Eats or like grab food, whatever. It's super like unhealthy. <laughs> You know what I mean, right? Like, it's not like the 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 standard, like say like uh, just just plain rice with like some simple veggies, you know, stuff like that. Like, like what uh, you know what I was saying earlier, where you just go to the the Chinese restaurant, you order like a dish, that dish, and then you just order with the rice. Done. You don't really see that in like, if you want to order food. What I probably have to do is that I don't think I can stream every morning anymore. Yeah, so uh, you know, you guys always so see like, I tend to stream like early, wee wee early in the morning for me. I don't think I can do that anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do that. Because every morning now I have to like wake up, prepare my own, uh, my own breakfast. I have to like, maybe prepare my own lunch. <laughs> you know, get ready for that thing. So yeah, streaming is going to be a bit hard this remaining two more months or so before my mom comes back that that's that's probably my main issue right now <laughs>
Being a streamer and needing to prepare your own food sucks. Let's just put it at that, you know? That one week of me being hiatus was really a, quite an experience. It was not fun. This stomach also was not fun at all. But yeah, I, I am a lot better right now. I don't think I can really do like super long streams yet, but I can safely say that I am actually okay to like, once I get my, my stuff up and running, like I got my meal done, and like, you know, everything, right? And I can actually just sit down. I can safely just sit down and just chill on my PC. Because I even managed to bing like one J drama off like the last three days. <laughs> yeah, I just sit there and just watch J drama, man. <laughs> While full autoing this piece of shit game. That, that was basically my experience uh, for this Guild War. It was not fun.